treatment plant, we use natural processes to purify sewage, which is coming out of the toilet blocks in this school. And this particular treatment plant has three stages. The first stage being an anaerobic reactor. So the wastewater flows directly into a subsurface tank where the solids in the wastewater is settled and anaerobic microorganisms partially decompose the waste to reduce the strength of this sewage by approximately 60% or so. And after that, the partially treated sewage is then taken into a planted gravel bed. partial decomposition in the anaerobic reactor is then applied onto a horizontal flow constructed wetland which is basically a planted gravel bed where the wastewater is allowed to percolate underneath the root zone of plants. We have used uh, helicornia plants in this particular treatment unit. The wastewater flows underneath and it gets purified by the action of both plants as well as the microorganisms that grow inside this gravel bed. The plants take up the nutrients, essential nutrients for their growth and the microorganisms that grows in the root zone as well as on the gravel bed as the biofilm decomposes the organic matter present in the wastewater, thereby allowing its purification by the time the wastewater reaches the end of this horizontal flow constructor wetland. Wastewater after filtration through the planted gravel bed is then taken to a final stage which is a polishing stage where we use a sand filter as well as a carbon filter for further improving the quality of the wastewater. In the sand filter, it improves the clarity of the wastewater, reduces the turbidity, and in the carbon filter, any kind of odor that may be present in the treated wastewater is removed. And finally, the treated wastewater is collected in a tank from where the water is then used for gardening purposes in the school. So around 2,000 liters per day, the wastewater is treated using this natural-based solution. So natural-based solutions are eco-friendly, affordable and also forward the initiatives for sustainable development. associate with Seahead and uh, Kochi Municipal Corporation for the implementation of this nat nature-based sewage treatment plant, especially uh, since it's being constructed in um, uh, school and uh, we understand it's perhaps the first of its kind uh, in the state. We are uh, the technical and implementation partner of this project. We have completed the project in time and now we are undergoing the monitoring side of it, you know, the very meticulous monitoring of the water quality before and after treatment and uh, the data uh, generated from here is extremely valuable for uh, the local bodies or uh, Shujito Mission or uh, any other agency which is interested in it. We are implementing uh, this in a very uh, particular time because the Shujito Mission and Government of Kerala is giving at most importance for uh, uh, wastewater uh, treatment projects. This particular project is not only going to be a just a sewage treatment uh, project but it will also act as a field lab. Uh, the low operational cost and the simple techniques uh, used in this system is most ideal uh, to be uh, adopted, to implement it and disseminate it. The Sustainable Neighbourhood Programme, which the Kochi Municipal Corporation has been uh, implementing in the city with the support of the German federal government, has been one of the most important initiatives that has been spearheaded by the corporation. We bring this initiative to the practical level at least to some particular portion in Kochi Municipal Corporation. That is why we selected the 33rd Division, which I rep personally represent as the Mayor, which is the Elamakara North Division. Again, the Pudukkalavattam Division, where I am standing, where the whole school is situated. And now we are implementing the Sustainable Neighborhood Program in the school. As part of this, we have now uh, very successfully done a 
nature based sewage treatment plant inside the school compound i'm very proud that the scms is also involved in this program because scms the school of management studies has been one of the important education institutions which have been always collaborating with us with the center for heritage environment and development i believe that it has been a game changing project i'm proud that the city has implemented it we have had technical collaborations with the scms from kochi itself we are having the center for heritage environment and development with us we are implementing it in a school we are implementing it in a particular neighborhood we are going to take this project forward to all the houses inside kochi and one day we will reach it here in this particular project we have sought the help of university experts from university of stuttgart uh and other uh, german institution to kind of uh, do a pilot project on how to kind of combat climate change impact in a micro level so this project we have a natural based solution on uh, wastewater which is a major issue here in kochi happy that this is a sort of a grassroots project that should be having a or should, should have a charisma all across india saying that you know, this is a, an, an easy way a smart way a creative way to um, get more sustainability in our lives and save also money and i would really hope that this project um, um really has a, a, a huge impact um, and has a huge huge um, it shines you know way beyond uh, kochi when well, we get this chance to be involved in this project because of germany the water institute was established in 2007 as a funding from wuttenberg stiftung to god germany in 2007 we they had funded us to give us 70000 euros so thank you for that and giving us this opportunity to be here in fact our relation with german universities and institutions started in 2005 when we associated with university of duisburg in essen then we had an mou with uh, university of applied sciences in wavelsburg where in uh, over the years we've had around 12 student and faculty exchanges in fact one of our students is doing a project in nevis in germany now um in the city lab we focus on three sectors which is water energy and housing and um we put together a lot of information about these um sectors and uh put them all together into a city profile where we also um added a road map um with project proposals in these sectors um we selected one of these project proposals a project called sustainable neighborhood എന്ന പദ്ധതിയിൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ സ്കൂളിനെ തിരഞ്ഞെടുത്തതിൽ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് അതിയായ സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് മലിനജല ശുചീകരണം എന്നിങ്ങനെ ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങളെ പറ്റി ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതിൽ നിന്ന് പഠിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നതാണ് കൊച്ചിൻ കോർപ്പറേഷൻ ഇത് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് കൈമാറ്റം ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഞങ്ങൾ ഇതിനെ നന്നായി നോക്കി പരിപാലിക്കുമെന്നും ഒറ്റക്കൂട്ടായ്മയോടെ ഇതിനെ സംരക്ഷിക്കുമെന്നും ഞങ്ങൾ